Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronax. I'm back with another Epic 7 video arena PvP. Let's go. Challenger 2. So, this page, I had to refresh that, which I didn't, but nothing interesting. Uh, it's most likely going to end up in a loss. Maybe not, but I mean, anyways, I'm just gonna go through the teams here. <clears throat> Second team doesn't seem so bad. Still, like, Clurry and Diane together is super annoying. But then you've got the defense down Provoke on my Diane from their Clurry. Yeah, my, my Diane's gonna just die. Forget the fourth team. The fifth team is too tanky, it's gonna be a massive stall. Kron, no thanks. Oh wow, that that's that uh, third team, no thanks. So it's gonna be. Well, I think says is just gonna kill my Kisei. I, there's so many says on this uh, in Challenger two or around Challenger two. They just kill my my Kisei in uh, with their skill one. So yeah. Second team. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, my clear is going first. Or is it? Wait a second. Maybe their clear is right there. I see four. Oh, I'm going. Okay. So. Thing is, better to go on the Diane than their Clurry. My Diane's gonna be able to go. Wait, what? Yeah, I went already, no, but. Do I want the Dispel and Barrier? Or it's better if I don't let them buff but is it gonna land that's the question okay i got the provoke but if she's got mysterious uh potion vial it's gonna be an epic fail because she's gonna take it off oh okay because my silk went before she actually took off uh, a speed down debuff from someone else. That was a close one. Okay, so who's going next here? Clary, Sigrid, Bloodblade, Karen. Sigrid. Karen can be super dangerous though. She can be very dangerous. And look at uh, her upgrades. Her and uh, Sigrid are pretty high in the upgrade department. But I'm gonna go for... Karen has the speed down debuff. I'm really like... Maybe analyzing this a bit too much. Aoe... A cigarette. I hope she dies. I mean... We'll see. If it doesn't crit... Nah, it's, it's over. If she didn't crit... Oh! Okay, I should have killed Karen because she's gonna Aoe me out of no she's gonna aoe and take me out of stealth and deal damage to uh diane oh wait what okay she did aoe she took out the barrier but there's still barrier on my kisei so she doesn't get taken out of stealth because if if it's absorbed damage, that's what I've been noticing. It keeps you in stealth, which is very overpowered. <clears throat> All right, wondrous potion vial. It's, it's really a good artifact. All right, so that was good. 
But yeah, Karen. If she dealt more damage, she could have taken... I mean, I don't know about taking my Diane out, really. That is a lot of damage she would need to deal. I don't think she's got uh, that high of a multiplier. And my Diane is tanky. Let's get the uh, Clurry here, if possible. Keep that burn for Kise. There's the battle results. Clearin Diane. Tanky stuff. Okay, so I should refresh here. But let's let's think. What's the second easiest team? I mean there is a massive stall on the fifth team. They can they they could kill me. I mean my team does not have sustained beside the barrier and uh, lie still on uh, on Kise. So Silk can usually dies first, and then it could be like Diane and then Cleary and then Kise because between the stealth and the life steal she can stay alive for a while unless she get open with Cartuja early on. Even then. I don't know, maybe Destina would focus her, Crow. Crow is usually very slow with Boreas. The first team, if I, like, no, Shadow Rose and uh, Judge Kisei will go first. Any of these two. And then, it's all about, will Sez take out my Kisei in one turn? And if, if, even if he doesn't, if he has Rihanna and Luciella and he procs it, he brings her low and then he procs it into uh, his uh, ultimate, it's over. Uh, I'm dead in two turns right there. Well, I mean, Diane would have to attack buff first, but it would be really quick. On that team, I'd take uh, Sez first. Sez out first. Can refresh. <clears throat> okay. Light ether. He deals quite a bit of damage. <clears throat> I don't want to fight balance season, especially uh, with haste and axe god. Uh, third team, Cecilia can be super annoying with provoke. They're gonna initialize first because of Shadow Rose. Destina plus uh, Diane, that's really tanky stall. <laughs> 50 miss area is super dangerous. Now they're gonna have, they're gonna buy time with the mortality, just enough for them to burst uh, my Kise and uh, my Silk, and then it's gonna be over at that point. Karatuja is only five star. But anyways, it looks like it's gonna be either first team or uh, third team. Because I don't want to do a massive stall fight here. It's going to be boring. But the fifth team. Fifth team. If Glory goes before uh, ML uh, Armin, I could. I, I would need to provoke too. Then Isaria is just OP. He's going to take out my key so He's going to be quick too. Anyways, I'm gonna go with the first team, I think. All right, let's see that. Let's see that. Uh, let's see that fight. I'm opening, and then 
Di there are Diane's going before my silk, so I'm gonna try to provoke her with my theory. There we go. Okay, that's good. No Mr. Potion Vial. The Provoke did not get cleansed off because of it. Crowl is not a threat. It's just being like a meat shield with the Provoke. I mean the... The Aureus right now. Like he could deal a lot of damage. But it doesn't look like it. Now, Axe God is the threat here. There's no defense down, but he could be applying a bunch. So I'm just gonna hopefully plus two turn on his uh, cooldown. It worked. GG. At this point, he still has one turn cooldown. I can just work on Diane. I've got. One, maybe there's a dual attack here. Nope. Okay, there's still potential dual attack. Nope. Okay, defense down is gone. Switching back on uh, God Axe. And here comes some damage. Come on, Crypt. Yes. Nice. Now Crow is gonna deal some huge damage. Gotta have to work on uh, either, either. Not sure how to pronounce it. A third, a third, maybe. Burn? No, not quite. Cannot push him back enough. Combat. Cannot push the combat readiness back enough. Here comes the damage. How much is it? 10,000? Close enough. Oh, wait. It, it was actually 10,000 if you count the damage redirected it onto uh, Clary. Uh, I'm kind of in a bad spot after this, uh, this massive hit. Okay, I took him out there, so that was huge. Five turn cooldown on that thing. Kind of have to take out Diane. Yeah, that's not cool. How, how are her? Okay, two, two turn cooldowns. Okay, I think it's uh. Since my keys is provoked, this was the best move. And uh, Diane's stuff is on cooldown. This doubled uh, Kise's damage. Here I could try to use skill 1. Because you cannot get a dual attack from the uh, third skill. But it's going to speed up my team and I could potentially go before the enemy. Yeah, clearly can go before, but it's not enough. But even the oh, yeah, some life still, good stuff. Now I can just auto this. It doesn't matter. All right, another win. Like these teams are not massive stall team, but it still takes quite a bit of time. So, do I just go for uh, team number three here? <laughs> Try my luck. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't end up with uh, Sez uh, doing crazy damage and proccing uh, Rihanna and Lucille uh, and just wiping my whole team. You know what? I think I might go. I mean, if he does that, that'd be a good ending, right? It'd be like... 
But yo, what's up? Want to attack my team? What happens? Okay. At least I can put that up. Says is slow, but it's all about to change. Ooh. Wait a second. I've got to go with uh, the ultimate, but I could potentially push. I could push Shadow Rose back and she's going to use her ult later. I can, if it doesn't get resisted, I could push her and have Clurry come in with the Provoke on Shadow Rose. Hmm. Are they all gonna go before me though? No, no, I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm gonna use the ultimate and just try to taunt Sez because that's the better move. Oh wow, he took so much damage. Is she gonna push me back that much? Oh my god, she it's like 20% increased combat trueness and 20% combat trueness reduction on my team or 25 or something like that. I guess it, 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 it it's what I should have done. If I die because of this. There it is, Rihanna and Lucilla. Oh. <laughs> my god. Take that provoke off. Key say though. I'm just gonna go and says. There's no provoke. Diane can clean it. You're going out. 20.5k. The overkill though. Now Shadow Rose can land the fans down. So does Celia, but Shadow Rose is easier to take down. So I'll be working on her. Keep Cecilia last. Well, you, when you initialize the fight, you see what artifact you actually have on. So I didn't pay attention. Zorsis Tonfa? What? So your last there. Oh, it's tempting, but there's attack, break, debuff, and and uh, there's no defense down on Cecilia. Damage was terrible because of it. <laughs> Provoke, baby. Let's go. Clean it up. Yep, at least that uh, that landed at least. Oh no. Oh, it's fine. Wait. Oh, it's fine. Kise goes before. Does she? She has all the cooldowns back. She's gotta die. Oh. That's good. I thought uh, it, would, it was my Kisei going. Love the damage on that skill one. It's so good. And I only have it plus one enhanced. It's not even enhanced yet. Like 5% versus... You can have like 30 or 35 damage increase. Breakdown and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna show you my gear. Gonna do a refresh for uh, next one. All right. So yeah, the skill ups. Here's the skill enhancement. Well, yeah, there's still 35% damage increase. So good. Full moon sight. So skill ups. Boom, boom. Wait, boom, boom, and uh, the gear, 
pause if I go too quick because I I'm really going fast because I've shown my gear so many times but if I don't I will get asked so here it is once again just need a bunch more speed basically like everyone else all right guys that's it for this one thanks for watching i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more and uh, press the bell icon if you want to be notified when i release new videos peace out for now